Hello and welcome. My name is Lexi Jong and here I like to talk about luxury beauty. Today we're taking a look at the new Dior Addict Shine lipsticks. So this is a classic lipstick formula for Dior, but it has been reformulated to include more natural origin ingredients and it's now a refillable concept in a way. So let's take a closer look. Now, when you purchase these, these are available at all of the major retailers right now, as well as Dior.com. You can purchase the lipstick, which is 39 US dollars, and that's what you would get here. So you would get this black case, as well as the lipstick component. Now, the black case is actually been redesigned from the previous case that we had in the Dior Attic lipsticks. And according to Dior, and this is directly from their website, the black version uses some 34% less fossil fuels, 36% less greenhouse gases, and 47% less water to produce. So it is gonna be a more environmentally conscious case in general. So you can see that the Dior logo here is going to be slightly different than what we've had in the past. And let's see if the old version fits in the new version. So here's the new one, here's the old one. It's exactly the same. Now let's try vice versa. We have the new color in the old case. Fits exactly the same. So if you already have a bunch of older Dior Attic lipsticks with cases like this, you know, you can purchase the refills to change your colors out if you prefer. Now you can also purchase just a refill. When you purchase the refill, which retails for 32 US dollars, this is what you get. So you have a white cap, so you can definitely use the refill on its own if you want, okay? And then this just has like, you know, regular Dior information on there. The color name and everything is actually gonna be printed on the refill directly itself. So we have over here is gonna be like made in France, and then we have the number and the name for the color. So I have to say this is better than what you get with the new Dior refillable lipsticks where you have to actually remove the refill in order to see the name and the color, <laughs> the color number, and those refills cannot be used on their own. So in that sense, this is a more successful refillable packaging. Oh. As another nod to this refillable concept, they've also created three cases that you can purchase separately. So these three cases, we have this one here, which is going to be indigo denim, and it does have the case name on the bottom of the case. The actual cases retail for 28 US dollars. So again, you can just get the regular black case with it for 39 US dollars, or you can purchase a refill separately for 32 and a case for 28. So we have indigo denim. So this is actual denim fabric. And you can see that all of the cases here have, you know, a piece of metal here where the fabric meets. We also have pink canage, which is kind of like this quilted pink patent leather. So you can see it is gonna be shiny. It's a little plasticky feeling, um, but you know, it's patent leather. So uh, just like the denim, we have the silver bar on the backside. And then our last one here is metallic silver, and it's just silver all the way around. You still have this silver bar here, and it is a fingerprint magnet, but you know it doesn't work quite as a mirror because the, the reflection is not going to be mirror-like. You can still see your reflection in it, but you know how sometimes if you're looking at something that's reflective, but it's not, a mirror finish it's not clear and that's how this is so you can kind of see I actually I guess you probably can't but you know in it I can see my lips I can make sure that the color is not you know all over the place but I can't see precise edges or anything like that so just something to note if you were trying to get this as more of a mirror like finish it's really not so let's go ahead and do some arm swatches and I picked up, I have, I think, nine of these. So we have 329 Thai and Dior. And this one here, I mean, look at that. That's a really beautiful soft pink shade and a pinky nude. You can see there's a little bit of sparkle in here, but it's not considered one of the glittery shades. 
So it's just a, a tiny little bit of like light reflecting shimmer. And let's just build that up a little bit underneath so you can see the difference there. This is definitely gonna be a color that I wear all the time. Now, if you're familiar with the Dior Attic Shine Lipstick Formula, this feels the same. It's still kind of that softer uh, formula that's you know glossy and shiny and very comfortable. This one here is 418 Beige Oblique. And again, we have the number and the name right there. So here's Beige Oblique. And this is a glittery shade. So this one actually has shimmer and sparkle in it. It's going to be a little bit more sparkly than the 329. And this is going to be a more of a cooler nude shade. There is a touch of rose in there, which cools it off a little bit. Next, we have 526 Mallow Rose. This is the one that's actually on my lips right now. And this is another glittery shade. So you can kind of see, you know, how much more sparkle there is in this versus um, the 329. But let's look at another one that's not sparkly. These are the only two I have that are considered the glittery finish. There are three shades. The last shade that is considered glittery is called B Dior. And this shade here is 527 Atelier. And you can see this is more of a soft rosewood shade here, whereas the Mallow Rose is more of a true rose shade. It's um, got a little bit of warmth in it, but I'd say it's a pretty neutral leaning rose. Whereas here we've got rosewood, you definitely have those browner tones in there. And I would say some rosewoods can lean a little bit cool, some can lean a little warm. This one leans a little bit warmer. We also have 536 Lucky. And this, I believe it was described more as a coral on the website. There's a touch of coral in it, but it's really one of those really pink leaning corals. So it's a cooler tone shade. It's more of a vibrant pink with just a little tiny touch of orange in it. It's more pink than anything else. And then we have 576 Rose Bagatelle. And this is going to be a cooler leaning rose than uh, Mallow Rose. Slightly cooler and it's also slightly deeper. 661 Dior Riviera. This one's actually more of the true coral. Perhaps they didn't call this one a coral. I just kind of thought they did, but this one here is definitely a coral shade here. And, uh, you know, corals can lean either pink or orange. And I would say that this one is kind of close to being in the middle, but slightly more pink than orange. I think it's actually a really great, beautiful, vibrant shade for the summer. Then we have 740 Saddle. I think this shade here is actually great for fall. And this is a brick shade. So it's got some brown, some red, some orange in there. It's kind of a cross between a brick orange and a brick red. But if you had to lean more towards one than the other, I would say an orange brown versus an orange red. And then the last one I picked up is 972 Silhouette. And this is going to be a burgundy shade. And you can see it is going to be cooler in tone. There's a little touch of purple in there, um, but it's really gonna be more of a crushed red berry. So these are the ones that I picked up. All right, so one more time, we have 329, 418, which is glittery. This is 526, which is glittery, 527, 536, 576, 661, 740, and 972. Okay, so one more time just with the names. We have Thai and Dior, Beige Oblique, Mallow Rose. This one here is Atelier. 
Then we have Lucky, Rose Bagatelle, Dior Riviera, Saddle, and Silhouette. Now look how much shine and sheen you get from these. These are definitely going to be a high shine lipstick. And again, these are the two that are considered glittery. They do have some additional sparkle in there, but I wouldn't say they have like a ton more. You know, you can definitely see glitter on your lips up close and you'll see that during the lip swatches in just a second. But I think overall, you know, they really just help more with light reflection. So let's take a look at the lip swatches and talk a little bit more about these items. So this information is coming from Dior.com and the Dior Attic is a Dior Shine lipstick designed like a fashion accessory. It now features a formula composed of 90% natural origin ingredients and it's housed in an ultra couture and refillable case. So we have intense color and shine with a vinyl effect. There's 24 hours of hydration and a six hour wear time. I would say the six hour wear time personally is accurate. I would go five to six. And the formula is infused with a jasmine floral wax with hydrating properties. I do find this to be very comfortable on the lips and it is slightly hydrating while it's on. I would not say 24 hour hydration personally, but it is definitely comfortable and you can still feel effects of hydration on your lips after it's worn off for a little while. Um, you know, I would give it like a couple extra hours, not 24 hours personally. And it says Dior Attic Lipstick enhances the lips in bright and radiant shades with sensational shine. There are a few uh, special colors or rather classic iconic colors that Dior has put into this line. Dior 8 is one of the standout shades. It's a universal and addictive brick red and it's inspired by the House of Dior's trendy and lucky number. So some other shades that are classic to this line. We also have 100 Nude Look and that is your perfect contemporary nude that reinterprets the color grayish or Grish, uh, created by Christian Dior with a flash of shine. We have 525 Cherie, which is a luminous rosy hue with a multifaceted sparkle that enhances the skin and whose name conveys Christian Dior's love of women and his muses. And 720 Icon, a deep intense rosewood that brightens the face and flaunts an even more modern shine and attitude. So there are nearly 40 shades and by my count, there are 39, which I thought was kind of an odd number <laughs> to start off with 39 shades. Um, but you know, Dior just says nearly 40. So we've got ultra trendy and glossy shades that range from red to pink, nude to brick. And there's also a series of deep rosewoods so that there are shades for everybody recommendations for application. They recommend using their lip scrub first and then remove anything excess, add on the Dior Attic Lip Maximizer Serum, which is the plumping serum, and then add two coats of the Dior Attic. So that's kind of their application. I personally just wear it whenever. <laughs> so uh, let's take a little bit more, let's get a little bit more information about the actual formula here. According to Dior, this is a true breakthrough formula. Dior Attic teams a sensorial texture which melts on the lips and leaves a comfortable lightweight film with magnetic shine and intense color. I do feel like there is a melting sensation with this formula, just like with the previous Dior Attic formula. So if you're familiar with that, I really feel like they feel very similar on the lips. This might be slightly softer and meltier, but it's pretty comparable to the previous formula. And some of the things that they have included in here are jasmine wax, which is helping with hydration. We have plum oil, which is for nourishing and protecting the lips up to 24 hours. And then they're using vegetable based oils to disperse the pigments so that you have a smooth sheen of color in one swatch. And taking a look at the three cases they brought out, the cases were inspired by the House of Dior wardrobes. So we've got indigo denim, which showcases the raw elegance of the universal denim fabric. Pink canage, which is a top-stitched pink case with a vinyl effect. And the Dior signature motif in metallic silver, which has a, according to them, a mirror effect that evokes a metallic shine of the latest Dior Couture creations. And again, I don't really consider it a mirror effect just because it's not clear. Um, you know, it, 
it's reflective, but you cannot actually see things in detail. All right, so let's just do a few comparisons. We're gonna start off with one of the Dior Addict Stellar Shines. This was in 871 Peony Pink. And I have to say, I can't actually find my other shades. So unfortunately, this is the only Dior Addict Shine I have at hand, but you can see this is gonna be a deeper rosy pink, cool tone, blue based pink. And I have to say, overall, this Dior range of lipsticks, they did a great job of colors. I also wanna take a look at some of the new Sisley lipsticks. So this one here is 11 Sheer Blossom. Let's put that, oops, let's put that here. You can see it's gonna be warmer in tone than these in Dior. I feel like Dior did a really great job getting shades that have cool tones and warm tones. We have 22 Sheer Raspberry. Let's see, do I have anything quite like this? Let's put that one here. Mm, it's gonna be a bit cooler than the Dior ones. Here is 20 Sheer Petal. Let's take a look at this one up here. Okay, you can see that's gonna be warmer in tone than Thai and Dior. Here's 21 Sheer Rosewood. Let's look at that one here. That is pretty close to the Rose Bagatelle. Rose Bagatelle is gonna be a little bit cooler this might actually go better with Mallow Rose. Let's put that right here so you can kind of see that. Yeah, I think that's pretty close to Mallow Rose. Here's 23 Sheer Flamingo. Yeah, I think that is a pretty good match for Dior Riviera. But let's take a look at 30 Sheer Coral as well. So that's here. And that's going to be Orange ER. So I have to say the Sisley formula, this has a very similar texture on the lips, but it's a little bit um, more balmy and less melty. A little bit more wax in the formula. This one here is 42 Sheer Cranberry. Let's see how that compares with Silhouette. They are pretty close. This is one of the new Chanel Extras in 814. Don't think this is really gonna match with any of these, but just to kind of show you, yeah, this is gonna be warmer and peachier. I think overall, the Chanel shades have much more reddish tones. This one here is 868 Rouge Excessif. Yeah, that's gonna be much deeper. And overall, I mean, it's a completely different formula design than the Dior, which these are meant to be like ultra pigmented, whereas the Dior is, I mean, it's pigmented, but not to the same level. It's not necessarily going to be full, fully opaque in one swipe. Here's 822 Rose Supreme. Let's put that there. Hmm. And this is the last one I'm going to test from here. This is 812, which is, um, I forget what this one's called, but 812 from the Chanel. You can see it's going to be warmer and peachier. This here is Makeup by Mario and Mauve Glow. Let's put this one, we'll put this right up here at the top. So this is gonna be glittery. This is a more sheer, shiny lipstick. But you can see that it does have some similar tones to the Beige Oblique. It's kind of in between the Thai and Dior and Beige Oblique. A couple of the Sisley Fido Lip Twist. This one here is shade one, Nude. And it's very light and sheer. It's got some sparkle and yeah, I thought it might kind of be like a lighter version of the Beige Oblique or the Thai and Dior, but I don't think it's quite there. We also have 24. Let's put 24 right here. It's kind of, this was the one that's kind of in between the two of these. And just a few of the Guerlain Kiss Kiss Shine Bloom Lipsticks. This is 129 Blossom Kiss, one of my favorites. And you can see how close that one is to Mallow Rose there. They're very close. This formula is going to be similar, but it's just, it has a thicker balm feeling. The Dior Addict is a little bit lighter weight, more melty in texture. 309 Fresh Coral. Let's look at that down here. Mm, sheer and lighter. Here's 109 Lily Caress. Let's look at this one here. It's gonna be a soft brown. 
and yeah, it's going to be a little bit lighter and a little bit cooler than Beige Oblique. And this one here is 119 Floral Nude, but this one might kind of be a good match. Yep, you can see that the colors there, I mean, this is going to be lighter. It's not going to get quite as pigmented. But you can see that the, the colors and the tones are going to be very similar to Beige Oblique from Dior. And just the Hermes new shiny lipsticks. This one here is the Beige Doe. Just so you can see how sheer these are in comparison. These are like a bomb, not a lipstick. Here is Orange Capucine from Hermes. Going to be brighter and more orange than anything here. And our last one here is Rose Nymphea. I'll put this one here because that's going to be the most pigmented. And you can see it's still going to be a cooler tone pink than these Dior shades and much more sheer. Overall, I have to say I really like this formula. I think it's really comfortable on the lips. I think there's a really great texture. It's hydrating and I'm really loving the color selection. I think Dior did a great job with this. Personally, I think, you know, the, it's really, to me, the fact they're offering refills, which is great, but it's not what I think of really as a refillable lipstick. I like the fact that you have all these options. You can buy it as normal with the black case. I like the fact that they've made the case a little bit more environmentally conscious and you have the option of getting different cases, but you don't have to. And I think it's really nice that they gave us these options. I really like the fact that you've got the color number and name, you know, where it's visible. So overall, I think Dior did a great job. I'd love to know what you think and which one your favorites are. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day and stay safe and healthy.